Now let's do a quick overview of significant digit rules. The first question is, how do we determine the number of significant digits in a number? The simple rule I like to go by is the Pacific Atlantic Rule. We know that the Pacific Ocean is on the left of the United States and the Atlantic Ocean is here on the right of the United States. Pacific, in our case, will signify that a decimal is present. Notice how they both start with a P. While Atlantic will signify that a decimal is absent. Notice how they both start with an A. So, if we're looking at this first number, a decimal is present, which means we're gonna start on the Pacific side, which is the left, and work from left to right until we hit our first non-zero digit. Any digits after and including this digit are significant. So if there are three significant digits in this number, five, three, and four. Now, if a decimal is absent, like in the second number, that means we start from the Atlantic side, which is the right, and cross out zeros from right to left until we hit the first non-zero digit and include all digits to the left, including the current digit, to find the number of significant digits. So in this example, only six, three, and one are significant, so we have three sig figs. Now that we know how to find the number of significant digits in a number, how do we apply these to mathematical operations? 